we fell upon our knees and blessed the God of heaven, who had brought us over the vast and furious ocean and delivered us from all its perils and miseries. Crossing the vast ocean and the sea of troubles before in preparation, we had no friends to welcome us, nor inns to entertain or refresh our weather-beaten bodies, no houses, or much less towns to seek help. What could now sustain us but the Spirit of God and His grace? for another two centuries. The strong faith they brought with them to America had its roots in those long <coughs> years of struggle known as to a stake at which time he said, My Lord Jesus was bound with a harder chain than this for my sake. And why then should I be ashamed of this rusty one? One last offer of pardon was made if he would recant. He said, What I have taught with my lips, I now seal with my blood. As the flames rose around him, he was heard singing, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Before the flames ever touched his body, the executioner strangled him to death. His dying prayer, Lord, open the king of England's eyes. <laughs> Spent in the parish of St. Sepulchre's in London. While a young man, he must have been aware of the numerous burdens at the stake that had taken place.